How is everyone this evening? Praise God. So, it's been a wonderful week. Amen. Amen. As we come together in prayer again tonight, uh, pastors may may be here. I'm not not sure yet, but uh, Griffin's birthday is today. Amen. And grandkids take precedence. Yeah, hallelujah. <laughs> uh, Got to get that time in while they're little. Praise God. Uh, so I have the opportunity to be before you tonight. Uh, just want to look at a few things here in the Word of God, uh, some of the things that Pastor has gone over, and uh, I'm thankful pastors are, are teaching us more on prayer. We're receiving light on prayer, you know, and, and every subject, if you want to call it that, in, in the Word of God, uh, there's always more light, that we can walk in greater light of things, and it really, it comes down to uh, our attitude, our heart attitude, when we come to hear uh, whatever it is, whether it's faith, whether it's love, the Holy Spirit, you know, obviously now we're, we're, we're looking at prayer and growing in prayer, uh, but I find it exciting, uh, the light that's come uh, at, in, in a greater portion, if you will, to understand that we can change things. You know, we change things with our prayer. Prayer isn't just uh, uh, saying the things to God on our heart and, you know, let's see if something happens and you know, uh, that's one of the great things that I've learned coming to this church from the very beginning is that you can ask God for things and expect him to, to do the things that you've asked according to his word uh, because it came from a background of, you know, sometimes God does, sometimes he doesn't. And uh, we find out that that's not true when we're led by the word of God, the Holy Spirit, and operate our faith uh, all together, it, it equals results, the, no, a knowing result. Uh, because the Lord speaks to us and, and tells us these things. So I want to look at the book of James again in chapter 5 and verse uh, 13, starting there. It says, Is any among you afflicted? Let him pray. Is any merry? Let him sing psalms. Is any sick among you? Let him call for the elders of the church and let them pray over him anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord and the prayer of faith shall save the sick and the Lord shall raise him up and if he has committed sins they shall be forgiven him and what I want to look at there for a moment uh, is how many times it says to pray how many situations there it says to pray what was prayer for in these situations to change what was if you're sick come and call the elders let them pray for you to change that that you're not sick anymore amen that healing is is received that we uh, uh, pray in that sickness leave that person's body or whatever the situation is uh, but we're, but we're looking to change things amen uh, again the prayer of faith will save the sick and the Lord shall raise him up so what's the end result of the prayer of faith uh, in this situation concerning the sick is that they're going to be raised up. Not we'll watch and see, <laughs> you know, what happens, but in the name of Jesus, they're raising up and they'll be made whole. Amen? And we can uh, uh, change things there uh, in, in, like in this situation looking at the sick, we can look at our finances and the prayer of faith shall change our finances and the prayer of faith shall change our businesses. The prayer of faith will uh, uh, change whatever needs changed. Amen. Amen. In whatever we pray in the prayer of faith and God will raise us up. He'll change that situation. Uh, in 16 it says, confess your faults one to another and pray one for another that you may be healed. So what is the result of that prayer? The prayer is that you're healed, that that fault, you know, uh, you, you end up getting over it, if you will, or, or the, the result of whatever it was that's not a lasting effect, but that we're going to pray over that situation, and the end result is healing. Is healing in that situation. Glory to God. So there's no broken place that has to stay broken. Amen. The prayer of faith can change it. There, there can be healing involved there. Glory to God. Uh, so going on, 
it says uh, that we pray for one another that you may be healed. The effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. So we see there again <clears throat> that the fervent prayer of a righteous man, the effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much or uh, produces much power that that situation could be changed, that it can be turned, that we can do something about it. Amen. As I was coming tonight and meditating on this, knowing that I was going to be sharing with you or, or ministering the word over prayer, uh, it, it just came up in my heart that we need to know for ourselves that the prayer that we pray works. Amen. Amen? That we don't have this attitude where, well, if brother so-and-so prays, then I know something will happen in my life. No, you need to know that when you pray, something's happening in your life. That, that that's great, we can come in agreement and all, but it's not that certain people have a special prayer power that you don't. Because that's not the case. All of our prayer, and we need to, it came to me this way, that we need to have faith in our prayer. Faith in the prayer that we pray. That glory to God, I prayed about that, that's changing. Amen. I, I prayed about my kids, and that's changing. There are things going into effect. There are angels on, uh, uh, on assignment because of the prayer that I prayed, and that they are ministering and bringing others into the situation there to change that situation. But bless God, I'm an ambassador of Christ in the earth, and that when I pray, my Father hears me the same way he hears Jesus when he prayed. Right. Amen. There, that there is no difference there. Hallelujah. So we can pray. Amen. We can pray and we can turn things and we can change things and we can direct things by prayer. And the Holy Ghost will help us know how to pray in every situation. He's the teacher, the guide, the comforter. Amen. Because we need direction in our prayer. If we don't know what to pray, we can pray in the Holy Ghost and he'll pray the perfect prayer of faith through us. Amen. <laughs> to change that situation. Glory to God. Or he may uh, prompt you in your spirit to pray a certain direction for the purpose of changing it. Give you what it is to pray or give you the core uh, area of what needs to be changed. Amen. Because sometimes we look on the outside and we're praying on the effect instead of what the core is. The core is what needs to change. But praise God, the effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much power. Amen. So we see here in verse 17, Elias was a man subject to like passions as we are. And he prayed earnestly that it might not rain and it rained not on the earth by the space of three years and six months. And he prayed again and the heaven gave rain and the earth brought forth her, her fruit. And what we see here is that our prayer, we can pray to stop things and we can pray to start things. We can get things to move and we can get things to stop. Amen? We can move things and we can stop things. Praise God. And what I look into here is with Elijah, he's not even a, a born again man, he doesn't have the Holy Spirit. Amen. I mean, obviously, he's a powerful man of God, he's a prophet of God, but where we're at, amen, and he's that example, uh, then how much more do we have to, uh, uh, to, 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 to lay hold of because of what God has given us, making us new creatures in Christ, amen, being born from above, amen, we're the redeemed, glory to God. So uh, going on, he said, he prayed again, and the heaven gave rain, and the earth brought forth her fruit. Praise God. So fruit was brought forth. Amen. So I want to go from here over to uh, Mark chapter 11. We need to recognize the opportunities to pray. And these are things that I'm noticing for myself. I'm, I'm helping me, glory to God, that uh, recognizing the opportunities, not being so quick to 
allow a situation, you know, just to accept the situation the way that it is, uh, but be quick to say, no, 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 wait, I'm going to pray about that, and that's not how it's going to be. You know, we're going to pray, you know, some things need prayed against to change, amen, and there's things that we need to pray into, that this is what I need to happen. Uh, you know, I have other businessmen in here, and I know some of y'all and what you do, but I don't know everybody's business. But the fact of the matter is, there's opportunities there that when we pray, it opens a door that the, the, the sinner who runs a business, he doesn't have the access that we do. He doesn't have the favor we do. He doesn't have the keys of the kingdom like we do. Amen. We have an advantage. Amen. But we got to recognize that and not be so quick to look and see the results of, of someone else's business that's not born again and say, well, you know, that's how it goes in this. Okay, if you say so. If you say so, if you say it's hard, if you say that that's impossible, then it is. But it's not. When we look at what we have available, we can pray about those things. Again, starting things and stopping things. Looking at Mark 11, uh, 22 it says, and Jesus answered, said unto them, have faith in God, or have the God kind of faith. For verily I say unto you, that whosoever shall say unto this mountain, be thou removed, be thou cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that those things which he says shall come to pass, he shall have whatsoever he saith. Therefore, because of this, what things soever you desire, look, when you pray, believe that you receive them, and you shall have them. Hallelujah. So we can speak to the mountain, in this case, and, and looking to remove something, and then whatever we desire when we pray, the thing that we desire, the thing we want to come, if you will, when we pray, we can receive that. So we can move things and we can receive things by faith. The prayer of faith. Not just saying alone because it, it differentiates, if you will, between when you say and when you pray. Amen? But both have to be in faith. Glory to God. So we can lay hold of those things in prayer and then we, we need to, to also look at 25 because it, it is part of this in that when we stand praying, we forgive. Amen. We must walk in love. Love is the fuel, if you will. Glory to God. If we're out of love, <laughs> we're, we're, wasting, we're wasting what we're saying. Amen. We got to be in love. We got to be forgiving and forgive those who've done us wrong. Uh, forgive, you know, in those situations, like Pastor's been teaching us. Uh, come in and forgive ahead of time, wherever you walk into. Lord, I forgive everybody today. Glory to God. Going into this day, so now I'm out there, my faith's out there, and my forgiveness is going. Hallelujah. And walking through in that forgiveness. Why? Because I want my prayers to stay intact, if you will. I want them to, I want the fuel to be there for them. Amen. So I want to take you to one more scripture. In Matthew uh, chapter 18. Hallelujah. In verse 18, chapter 18, verse 18, it says, Verily I say unto you, Whatsoever you shall bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatsoever you shall loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Again I say unto you that if two of you shall agree on earth as touching anything that they shall ask, it shall be done for them of my Father which is in heaven. Now looking at verse 18, it brings me to remembrance in, in the book of James concerning Elias that that's basically what he did in praying for the heavens to be shut up and for it not to rain, but then turning and praying again earnestly that it would rain and then the heavens release the rain upon the earth. That heaven responds to us. Praise God. Wow. And what's available there? Amen. Everything, our supply. Amen. 
and that we have that ability through prayer. And he says to us that if we come together and agree touching anything, that it'll be done for us of God. For where two or three of us are gathered together in Jesus' name, there am I in the midst of them, he says. Praise God. He is so good and, and has, uh, uh, ex- showed us this, that when we come together, he means business. Amen. That when we come together, like right now, Jesus is here. Hallelujah. The, the ear of the Father is attentive to hear and to respond to the prayer of faith as we come together in this corporate faith and coming together in this unified prayer that Pastor Michelle is teaching us that the things that we're believing God for, the things that we're praying into, and, and I mean, we're sitting here at the beginning of this year. Hallelujah. Amen. I, I don't know if, you, if it bears witness in your spirit like it does in mine. Glory to God. But there are great things happening for all of us. Amen. Amen. For all of us. I mean, the things that the Lord has, has said, the gain, the transition, the victory. Amen. That's, that's ours. Amen. That's ours, Little Rock. That's ours, Clarksville. Glory to God. And, and these things that we're doing right now and will continue to do in this year are, are paving the road, if you will. I mean, the supplies are coming in. It's like when they get ready to, 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 to put a road in. Here comes all the machinery and here comes all the supply. And they start setting things up to build what's uh, already been put on paper. Glory to God. And those things are coming forth for us in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Well, I'm going to release us uh, in, in prayer, however you pray at this time. Glory to God as uh, uh, we come together in agreement. Uh, we have our, our sheets that uh, have been printed out, the prayers for our pastor and our church and ourselves and the, uh, the things that we're believing God for. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, you know, uh, just some, some different things here that were just on my heart, just... Uh, one, you know, lifting up one another for health and healing in our bodies. Amen. There are some, of, some that are uh, uh, overcoming some things. And you know what? We can keep things from happening. Glory to God. Uh, we don't have to be sick. Amen. We, we choose to not participate in the flu season. Glory to God. It can just flu on by. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> and... Uh, I, I need the drum and the, the cymbal over there. <laughs> Glory to God. Uh, you know, uh, I, I'm obviously a businessman. I have my business, but I know there's businesses in this church here and in Clarksville and in Little Rock and whatnot. Uh, let, let's, let's keep the businesses of this body lifted up. Amen. God wants to work through those businesses to prosper the church. Amen. And our families in that. Amen. And... Uh, you know, if, if you're believing God to start a business, you know what, Let, let's lift that up and ask God for wisdom and direction. Uh, you might ask, well, what is there I can do? Well, that's what we need to find out. <laughs> Amen. And you would be surprised how God has moved in the, the smallest things that people would have thought, you know, what's the point in doing that? And God has uh, caused those people to flourish and thrive financially. Amen. In the littlest things. So, uh, you know, we can't put those things off. Glory to God. And so uh, uh, those are a few things there I wanted to, to mention, but praise God, and we're going to pray. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you,
We ask it believing and receiving, Lord. We ask it in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Hello, Boston. Hebrew, Arabic, 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 Hebrew,
Hallelujah. 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 So Raman de Gesekia to Pure Bresseke Namatura Brasaka. Hallelujah. So Hallelujah. Oh, I believe God. Hallelujah. 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 You know, I've asked that question for years. People will say, I'll ask people, I'll say, do you want to meet, you know, would you like to meet God? And they say, yes. I say, well, Isaiah says he meets them that rejoice. You, that's what he says, thou meetest them that rejoice. Amen. And uh, I believe God. Hallelujah. You know, we're going to get you out of here, but, uh, and I certainly appreciate Pastor Tony uh, taking the lead tonight. Uh, we had a family event. Uh, but uh, in any event, uh, something that came very clear to me today, and you've got to, these are the things you've got to press into by faith. The Lord said that we're going to enter 2018 with a clean slate. And uh, I was, uh, he was dealing with me today. You know, this is the year 
It doesn't matter what you've tried to do in years past. And maybe it's gotten better, but it hasn't completely changed. This is the year. And I mean, I just, I, there's something supernatural about this year. And, and I mean, I know that there's times you can say what it is, and then there's times there's just something different about the year we're moving into. And, and when I, I mean, I'm, I'm not trying to be clicheic. I'm just, I'm telling you, if you'll just measure it out and take your time and take it, don't get in a hurry. Just take measured steps. That's what the Lord keeps dealing with me about. Take measured steps. Things are going to change. But don't try to just change them overnight. Take measured steps. And something that he keeps talking to me about is to tell people, and this is another thing I've said for years to people when they'll talk to me about certain things. Go back to what you know has always worked. Go back, go back, go back. Do you know that one plus one will always equal two? Am I right? And did you know that one plus one equaling two is the foundation for every other mathematical equation you've ever learned in your life? Amen. You, you, can, you can speak the English language and use what my daddy calls them thousand dollar words. Right? But you started with A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Go back to what you know works. The ABCs always work. One, two, three always works. Amen. And the last thing I'm going to say is this. And I know Pastor Michelle concurs with this because this has been in my heart. I've been talking to her about it. I'm just, I want us tonight before we go, all of us that are here, and we've not, never moved away from it, but I want us in 2018 to really recommit that this ministry will continue to push into everything that God wants for it, but at the same time, holding true to our roots and holding true to our foundation which is building faith and framing worlds by the word of God. And I tell you this every year, but I'm going to tell you this again this year. We are word of faith. We will be word of faith next year. We'll be word of faith in 10 years. We'll be word. Of, listen, when, when the trumpet sounds, I'm going to go up saying I'm word of faith. Hallelujah. <laughs> Glory to God. But I'm, I'm saying that for a reason because we're moving into some things. And I'm just, I'm committing to you as your pastor. We're going to build more faith. We're going to preach more of the word. We're going to preach more redemptive truths. We're going to see more of, of what God wants to see us to see from the word of God. And we're going to see it on a deeper level. Amen. How, do you believe that? So if you agree with me on that, just stand on your feet. Let's just, let's just commit tonight. Let's just commit tonight. This is... And, and, and I, I want you to be sure and, and understand something. It doesn't, matter, it doesn't matter where you've missed it. It doesn't matter what you've tried to do and weren't able to accomplish. That's, that's, that's behind you. Clean slate. Everybody say clean slate. Clean slate. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And, you know, I don't know who all this is for, but you're, that, that, that prosperity that God's going to move you into, you're going to be surprised how little of an adjustment it really is to see it start. It's really a little adjustment. And I don't, I don't know what all that entails, but it's a little adjustment. It's nothing big. Hallelujah. I believe God. So, Father, as a body tonight, Lord, those of us that are here, we represent this body. And Father, we just commit. I commit, my wife commits as the pastors of this church, the leaders of this fellowship, to even more so, Lord, allow the word of God to have free course. Yes. And even more than we have in the past, press into things as we've never done before. Yes. To, to see these deeper things and these higher heights and deeper depths that you desire for our body to experience. And Father, we just lay aside everything that may be a hindrance. 
And we say as a body, we don't care what we have to lay down. We don't care what we have to put aside. We're going to lay it down and put it aside and receive all you have for us in 2018. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. If you believe that, say a big amen. Amen. Hallelujah. I believe God. Amen. Amen. Well, we appreciate everybody being here. Uh, I can't, I don't have my glasses. 21 in Little Rock. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God's good. Amen. God bless you. We'll see you tomorrow.